One minute. Go. Literally, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come yeah. on. Yeah. You, like, you video stream, but you were literally like, TikTok. Ten minutes. You could have so the uh, demo program uh, is approximately 12 to 14 months project that uh, tries to unite 60 uh, young and not so young activists from different European countries. For now they are from 21 uh, European countries uh, and through a series of trainings and interactions and peer-to-peer -peer learning it aims to help them uh, make different changes for their communities and to mobilize them, discuss uh, and explore the notions of democracy in the context of the upcoming uh, European elections in 2024. So it's a very beautiful diverse group um, that is doing very important things for the world around um, and working on uh, a variety of topics uh, that are related to activism, to politics, to the angels here. My name is Ami Wechkan. I am a new board member in the Euro European Alternative, but I was a member of the Room to Bloom board. I'm uh, from Senegal, born and raised in Senegal, spent my entire life in France and now living in Sweden. So I'm, I'm here to bring like uh, another perspective, I think. And uh, as in my normal life, I'm an artist, activist and a strategist. I hope that uh, I will be part of the solution. Transnational organization could be part of the solution. I really recognize that there is a lot of activism that need to be valued here. But I s still think that the problem is like you're just thinking for others first. And this is a European centered way of seeing and telling stories. And I think this is a problem because uh, this way has been used in a different, different shape. One of them is colonization and imperialism. It's to how can we like um, be the oppressor and want it to be the solution? This is not possible. If you want to be the solution, we need to listen to the victims first. We need to involve them. We cannot turn around, you know, like using the same structure all the time. Even the even the the speech of decolonization has been stolen by European centric activists. So for me, the, it's really need to re rebuild before rebuilding, deconstruct everything and decolonize properly the European and the Western, generally, way of thinking, way of shaping the world, way of judging, way of putting like uh, ranks. There is many, 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 many layers that need to be decolonized. Practices is one of them. Using the sensible is another of them. When I talk about uh, the sensible, I'm thinking about the arts, you know? You listen to music, you have an emotion, and then you cry. This is art. And I also wanted to just point one thing, it's like telling stories, reshaping, uh, changing the narrative, start by decolonizing really, really our mindset, our way of thinking, and the terminology, the word we are using, and the expectation that is super Western that are put everywhere. There is like other places in this entire world that are already in this process, but they didn't have a name on it. Why not listening, learning, inviting, and then building together? I am Annu Kempainen from Helsinki Pride Community and I work as an executive director. Helsinki Pride Community uh, does all year round work with the community, LGBTIQA plus community. Uh, we do social work, we do youth work, we do community work and we also organize uh, the biggest human rights and culture event in Finland which is Helsinki Pride Week. I think it's, uh, it's a Hopefully it'll give some inspiration and insights for people uh, how to build communities, how to engage communities and how to change the legislation and system through the community. It's so uh, important to share knowledge and share good practices. Uh, I think that activists tend to work by themselves a lot and it doesn't do good. It, it's really like too exhausting, but it's also, uh, it's not, um, it just doesn't make sense to build, uh, like to build things from scratch. Uh, all over again, all over again, and in different places. Instead, we should just like meet meet each other and like share our good practices, good knowledge. My point is now to wrap up. Because we want to be heroes, so it's the narrative. It's the narrative against. <laughs>
So I have been in the activism, um, the political activism space uh, since I was a child. Uh, right now I focus primarily on electoral uh, change and bringing more progressive ideas and thoughts and uh, movements into electoral politics because you know we're facing across the world very similar things I think in the progressive movement so learning from past mistakes learning from other countries uh, about uh, what's working and what's not working and I think that's what's really great great about this program is I'm, I'm learning a lot from other people who are in the similar space Transnational organizing is important because so much of what happens, as we're seeing in the news, in one country may affect global stability. It might affect, affect uh, other other countries and their politics. Um, we learn, you know, when when one far right uh, leader rises up in one country, another movement learns in a different country. So it's really important for this type of activism to continue because we also learn from each other. My name is Marian Ignat and I'm from a small village from Romania but I'm currently living in Bucharest. My current work is around environmental and climate justice. Um, so I do work with the youth organizations and I've been doing capacity building with them for the past two years at the European level or in, in Romania. Um, but I'm also, um, I'm also active at the local level in Bucharest and uh, working at the national level with, for example, WWF on a campaign for specifically for pollinators action. Transnational organizing is important because I think it allows us to connect with people and to use different tools and resources um, to reach a, a specific goal. For, so for in this sense, with climate justice, this is a problem that affects people despite their borders and despite where they live. So transnational organizing, it helps us actually to tackle a bigger problem than um, where we live. And create these other pieces. So that's like technical. My main focus is uh, making a voice for Afro-descendants in Portugal. Uh, people of African heritage from Brazil, from Haiti, from the continent of Africa, Colombia and the rest. Transnational organizing is important because it gives us a unique voice, a single voice, not only in Europe but in the world. And it uh, reduces wastages, it brings about efficiency and results.